I live in Luton's postal area, LU1, and the world's first UK centre for carnival arts is opening right here. So you can imagine I was anticipating a carnival for so long. Let's have a look around. What this means, I mean, apart from us opening the building and letting everybody know that we exist, um, we're actually about saying that, you know, this is uh, the beginning of a new journey for us, actually taking carnival arts, you know, out to national and positioning UK carnival arts amongst uh, the level of other carnival arts, like in Brazil, you know, in Trinidad, you know, in Rio, and all the different places around the world. What we're really just trying to do is make sure that this place blings carnival and it gets on the register for carnival all around the world. Um, sometimes with these kind of events, I mean, unfortunately, it has like animosity and hardship towards it and like social behaviour. I mean, how is this going to stop that kind of stuff happening? Oh, I mean, firstly, carnival is a way of, you know, carnival is the street and it speaks the language of the street. And in doing that, it's going to ensure that those who are on the street will find some kind of refuge here in some way. And all the different programmes from, you know, music, you know, urban music to very traditional uh, sounds, uh, whether it's steel pan or whether it's calypso or whether it's just, you know, making costumes, we're going to grab all those people into this space and we're going to work with them and turn them into world-class artists and people that are going to do well for this for this society that we're in. I mean, this is such a good, um, such an amazing facility. I mean, I mean, it's not solely just for carnival. Is it going to be like some small calendar dates that's um, going to allow this thing to be used? Absolutely. As you know, carnival is going to present some challenges in terms of getting paid audiences into the space. And I think what we're going to really be looking at is a mixture of carnival activity and, and commercial acti activity, which has very kind of interesting connections with what we do. So we'll be looking to connect up with theatre producers. We'll be looking to connect up with uh, artists, visual artists, musical artists, and actually getting them to showcase here, drive a good uh, income strand into this place. And hopefully that helps us to supplement and subsidise some of the artists' work that we're doing with Carnival. Being from Luton, what does it feel like to have the world's first centre in Luton? Because um, not only do I do steel pan, I also take part in Carnival, which I've been doing for the past five years. So it's good for Luton to have this centre here, you know, because I think we really need something like this because we haven't really got much in Luton for the black community or all the other communities. But to get everybody to come together, and because it's the biggest one day Carnival, we really need this centre. So I think it's great. Because it's rained the last few times, has that kind of like um, stunt the growth of the um, carnival and the um, participators? Yes, it has. But last year we actually played in the rain, and a lot of uh, a few of the carnival artists did take part. They actually paraded in the rain. But um, hopefully this year, I hope it's a lot better because it can be good. So were you here last year for the last carnival? I was oh no actually I was here for the last carnival. I wasn't here for the year before, but last year and the year before it rained really badly, so there wasn't much of a carnival. Fingers crossed for this year though. So what are the prospects for this year? This year's going to be fabulous because I'm going to be here. I'm going to be doing bits in it, and it's not going to rain, and it's going to be great. And obviously we've got the UK Centre for Carnival Arts now, so we've got additional resources and more people, for, more reasons for people to come to Luton. What's going to be going on here today? Today's the launch of the centre, so it's for people in and around Luton to come down and find out about what we're doing. So we've got live hacks here today, um, currently playing as an African band, we've got a couple of dance troops, we've got a 50-piece steel band and we've got a samba band afterwards. And then later on this evening we've got a big fireworks display and a kind of a party back at the centre. I'm totally excited and I'm praying that it doesn't rain so the dancers and the performers can have an awesome night. Watch this space for May 25th. I'm Krishna Kohli for Local News TV.